Good day, everyone. Welcome to our Physical Education and Health 1 class. This is your PE instructor, Ms. Twinkle May Bungay. For this session, we have the following objectives. Number one, differentiate physical activity from exercise. Two, recognizes the importance of physical activities. Three, define the different types of body. Four, classify exercises. Five, elaborate the meaning of physical fitness. And sixth, identify the skill and health related components. So we will talk about physical activity and exercise, but before anything else, let us first differentiate physical activity from exercise. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng physical activity and exercise? Okay, so when we say physical activity, it involves any bodily movement caused by muscular contractions that result in the expenditure of energy. It is usually classified according to its purpose such as occupational, transport-related, household, and recreational. Many people believe that one should engage in sports and exercise to be active, which is a misconception. In fact, sports and exercise are just part of the activities that can be classified under recreational physical activity. When we say exercise, it is a planned program of physical activities usually designed to improve physical fitness with purpose of increasing physical fitness level. So as we go on to our discussion, um, I'll be discussing about physical fitness level. While physical activity is different from exercise, research shows that both physical activity and exercise can improve one's well-being. It should be noted that the protection confirmed by being it is higher than being um, physically active. So, meron tayong tinatawag na three classifications of exercise. What are these three classifications of exercise? Starting with number one, we have the aerobic exercise. So aerobic exercise, it involves large muscle groups that performs rhythmic and continuous movement for a prolonged period of time in order to improve aerobic capacity. So mamaya, um, after this classification of exercise, I will discuss what is aerobic capacity, which is under the five health-related components of physical fitness. So example given, are um, swimming, biking, and dancing. So if you can notice, class, swimming, biking, and dancing, it involves large muscle groups, right? So, kumbaga, 80% of our muscles or 80% of our body is moving. Okay? So, ito po, aerobic exercise, ginagawa ito to improve aerobic capacity. So, mamaya, um, we will go back to aerobic exercise so that you can understand what, who is aerobic capacity. The next classification of exercise is what we call resistance exercise. Pag sinabi natin resistance exercise, it requires the muscle to contract against an external load to improve muscular strength, muscular endurance, and bone strength. So, it is obvious that resistance exercise targets only the muscle. So, ang ini-improve nyo lang po is muscular strength and muscular endurance. Okay, example given, barbell. Okay, so ito yung mga exercises that improves the muscle. For example, the push-ups or the curl-ups. Next. Okay, we have also stretching exercise. Pag sinabi natin stretching exercise, it increases the elasticity of muscles and tendons surrounding the joint in order to improve flexibility. So ito po, napaka-importante nito na stretching exercise. Um, in three classification of exercise, the stretching exercise is the most important one. At ito po una yung una una natin, inuuna. Bago tayo mag-perform aerobic exercise or resistance exercise, we have to do stretching exercise. Because it is a uh, warm-up. Kasi yung katawan natin is kumbaga sleeping. Kailangan natin gisingin. Papawis muna tayo. Kailangan natin painitin yung katawan natin and the muscles. And nakalagay dito na that it increases the elasticity of the muscles. Kung baga, ganun po, ma-avoid natin or we prevent um, injuries na pwede natin makuha kapag nag-perform tayo ng mga exercises. Okay, so talking about physical fitness, ayan, before we talk about physical fitness, 
we have different types of body. We have ectomorph, endomorph, and the last one is mesomorph. For the ectomorph person, this one, this type of uh, body is characterized with slender bodies, short trunks, and long arms, and legs. So his feet are long and narrow with a narrow chest, long slender neck, and a very little amount of fat. So muscles for ectomorphic, ectomorphic person are weak and thin with weak tendons, weak joints that are cause of poor posture, lack of body power and strength. Now, um, the mesomorph or mesomorphic person, it is characterized by a solid muscular physique strong with large chest slender waist long torque with short but powerful legs and arms so um this mesomorphic person have moderate in height and have very strong in carrying heavy weights so mesomorphic person enjoy vigorous and exciting physical activities like wrestling basketball football okay last type of body part is the endomorph or endomorphic person so an endomorphic person characterized by excess body fat distribution lack of bony angularity and floppy floppy muscles so the arms the trunks and the legs look rounded and fatty with a round face double chin and a short neck so the hips abdomen tights buttocks and upper arm are full of fatty pads while the chest of an endomorphic man um, is like the breast of a woman okay so that are the different um, types of the body okay so um, next we have physical fitness so physical fitness is a condition let's um, um, put in mind the word um, condition no? so tandaan natin ang salitang condition it is a condition that allows the body to effectively cope with the demands of daily activities and still has the energy to enjoy other activities so I have a question for you class do you think you are a physically fit or you are a physically fit person sa tingin nyo physically fit kayo yes or no Okay. So, if your answer is yes, then great. If you continue that. But if your answer is no, try to think kung saan tayo nagkulang or saan tayo lock. And pwede natin ma-improve to be physically fit person. Okay? So, let's now move on to the health-related components of fitness. So, we have aerobic, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, body composition. So, it has something to do with the three classifications of exercise, starting with aerobic capacity. So, it is the ability of the heart, lungs, and blood vessels to supply oxygen and nutrients to the working muscles efficiently in order to sustain prolonged rhythmical exercises, like for example, running. Okay? So, yun mga nabanggit na mga exercises, which is the aerobic exercises, swimming, biking, and the, um. Taka pag palagi natin yung ginagawa na improve natin si aerobic capacity. So what does it do? Because um, it has the ability. It is the, has it has the ability the of the heart, of the lungs, and the blood vessels to sustain um, rhythmical exercises, katulad ng pagtakbo. So kung may iniindulo kayong mga athlete na sumasama sa mga triathlon, masyado ng uh, max yung level ng aerobic capacity nila because continuous yung training nila. So, the secret there is continuous training. Moving on to the next one is what we call muscular strength. So, muscular strength, it is the ability of the muscle to generate the greatest force. Ayan. So, ito po, um, baka makonfuse kayo to muscular strength and muscular endurance. So, si muscular endurance it is the ability of the muscles to resist the fatigue when performing multiple repetitions of a submaximal load. Okay. So, example given, si Juan, he um, kaya niya magbuhat ng isang sako ng bigas. So, that is Juan's muscular strength. 
So it's the ability the ability to exert the greatest force in him. So kaya niya magbuhat ng isang sako ng bigas. Yun yung muscular strength ni Juan. Pero talking about muscular endurance, how many sacks of rice can he um bit bitin na sunod-sunod? For example, limang sako ng bigas, na kaya niya yung isa, na kaya niya yung dalawa, na kaya niya yung tatlo. But in the fourth one is nanghihina na yung muscle. Wala nang lakas yung muscle. Parang, wala nang energy si Juan. So, ibig sabihin, muscular endurance ni Juan is hanggang tatlong sako lang ng bigas. So, in order for it to improve, we have to um, perform cur- curl-ups or push-ups, barbells. It improves muscular strength and muscular endurance. And then, going back to the three classifications of exercise, these two is under resistance exercise, okay? So, everything or every exercise that talks about muscles have something to do with the resistance exercise. Moving on to the next one is what we call flexibility. So, it is the ability to move a joint without pain over its entire range of motion, sit and reach. So, ito po, it's not, for example, you know how to sl- split, you know how to bending. It's right. That's being flexible. And talking about being a normal person, so how can we be flexible? In order for us to be flexible in all things, we have to be serious to stretching exercise because it can help us a lot to improve our flexibility. The next one is the body composition. It refers to the total makeup of the body using the concept of two component models, the lean body mass and the body fat waist circumference body composition when we talks about our posture okay given sa inyo na teenagers kayo is medyo okay pa yung katawan nyo medyo ma hindi pa masakit yung likod nyo so um now habang wala pang nangyayaring masama sa mga likod natin kailangan natin stretch yung mga likod natin palagi so from time to time um we have to stre- stretch our body so for example we have online classes we are sitting we're using our phone, um, laptop. So right after um, the discussion, you can stand up. You can do some stretching. Okay, you do walking uh, and drink a lot of water because it will help to improve your body composition. Okay, so those are the five health-related components of physical fitness. Next one, we have skill-related components of physical fitness. We have agility, balance, coordination, power, reaction time, and speed. So, what is agility? Agility is the ability to rapidly and accurately change the direction of the body. Rapid change and accurate change of the direction of the body. Balance, it is the ability to control or stabilize the body when a person is standing still or moving. What is coordination? It is the ability of the body to use the senses all together with the body parts in order to perform motor tasks smoothly and accurately. So, putting all the senses together while um, performing motor tasks. That is called coordination. Power. Power is the ability to move the body parts swiftly while applying the maximum force of the muscles. Reaction time, it is the ability of the body to reach or respond quickly to what you hear, to what you see, to what you feel. Okay, and the last one, we have the speed. Very self-explanatory. It is the ability of your body or parts of your body to move swiftly. Okay, so that are the skill-related components of fitness. Okay, so why is it hard to change unhealthy habits? Bakit nga ba it's hard to change the unhealthy habits? Um, diba siguro sasabihin na kasanayan natin because it's a habit, you know? Ito na yung nakasanayan natin. So lahat ng, lahat ng masama, masarap, diba? So lahat ng bawal, masarap. So yun. So baga, parang it's really difficult for us to adjust lalo na kapag it's a habit. Kapag may nago good morning sa atin, kapag may, sin, may nagte-text na kumakain ka na. Ay, sorry, sorry. Wala pala kayong mga ano. Sorry. So, 
Uh, these unhealthy habits, we have to change this. I know it's hard, but it's not impossible. Okay, yeah. Changing an old habit is an arduous task, but not an impossible one. So, um, it's really difficult to do, but it's not impossible. Basta we have to think to ourselves that we are um, positive always. Because if we think that it's difficult, it's really difficult. No, it will be difficult. So the first step is to recognize the practice of unhealthy habit that goes beyond knowledge of existence. So we have to um, understand what are the bad effects of those things to our body. So may tinatawag tayo na um, transtheoretical model. Okay, but we will tackle that um, on the next session. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. If you have questions, free to um, feel free to email me in my Gmail account tbongay at hnu.edu.ph for faster transactions. Message me in my Facebook account Twinkle May Bongay. I am available from Monday to Friday from 8 to 5 p.m. during my vacant schedules. After watching this video. Comment down at least five takeaways about the lesson and that will serve as your attendance for our online setup this week. Thank you so much for your time. Have a nice day everyone.